Thanks a very much. all the day's sport. Thanks, Brian. Good evening to you. Well, we start with Mick O'Dwyer because after all the speculation, he's decided to stay on as manager of the Leash football team. The former Kerry Great informed the chairman of the Leash County Board, Dick Miller, of his decision this morning. Now, a short time ago, he spoke to our Midlands, Midlands correspondent, Kieran Mullooly. O'Dwyer said he may in the future consider other management options, including Dublin. He also confirmed he's given the Leash panel a warning last night that he'd leave if they didn't shape up. And I'm just hoping that the commitment will remain. And while that commitment will remain with me, I'll be in here. But if there is any problems, I can tell you, I can, I'll certainly walk away from it completely. I mean, that stuff that went on for two nights was just on, you know. But I'm back and I'm installed and I'm happy to be working with Dick here again. There's no problem. And the other thing that I would like to say, there was a lot of talk about money differences between myself and the county board and that. There was never a question. They paid me my expenses as is laid out by the Gaelic Athletic Association. They paid me the proper expenses for travelling from Waterville here to Leash and that type of stuff. And beyond that, there is no more. I had no problem as in connection with expenses or anything. And whoever said we had, was that was completely off the mark. I mean, it was because of the two nights training. That was the reason why I left Leash and the only reason and no other reason in the world. Okay. Uh, Leash supporters, as, as you know, have, been, have heard all sorts of stories in the last few days. I have to ask you specifically to clear it up for them. Were you approached by the Dublin County Board to see if you were interested in being interviewed for that job? No, I never was, to be honest. I met John Bailey up the day of the uh, ladies' football game in Crow Park and we did a bit of a chat and a number of people, of course, saw us having a chat and there was one Dublin fella came over and he was listening and he said, I said, what, you'll come to Dublin now? And this is the stuff that went on. But, I mean, in fairness to John Bailey, no, he didn't. But I suppose if I was free, there's no, maybe he would have asked me. I have no doubt maybe about that. But that's another day's work. I think John Bailey has interviewed people in Dublin and I have no doubt he's trying to make up his mind who is the best man for the job. And maybe he was hoping, maybe at some stage, that he might. If I had left Leash, I suppose he would have. But who knows now? But there certainly was never any consultation with the Dublin County Board or the executive of the Dublin County Board. Neither was there any connection with the Carlow County Board or anybody in Carlow as well. Yeah, that was being mentioned as well, like. But I mean, it was the bookies and these guys that started all this, and they're the men that have made the money out of it, I can assure you. Well, what can you tell Leash supporters in terms of your tenure now? Is this going to be one more year? Is it three more years? What's the duration of this? Well, I mean, I've been appointed for two years by Leash, so we'll take it year by year. And well, it's been a busy day on the managerial front. John Mon has been reappointed for a further three years as manager of Mayo. Selectors George Golden and Liam McHale have also been reappointed. Meanwhile, Ireland will be without...